So today I'm gonna to show you how to use a mushroom plant-based broth. Um, and what we're gonna do here is use more mushrooms. So BC is very rich on mushrooms. It's some great producer of mushrooms. You obviously, when the time comes, uh, mushroom picking is one of our favorite things to do. So what we wanna do with mushrooms is to give them a little roasted color. And for that, you don't need to start with oil. Anything you're gonna start with oil, you're mostly gonna burn the oil. So you wanna start with a pretty hot pan. Cast iron works well, or like on stick pan like I'm using right now is good. And once the pan is hot enough, like a little bit smoke to it, this is not oil smoking. This is just the mushroom moisture that start to steam up. Just turn down the heat, okay? And we're gonna just looking for that nice little roasted color to it. Mushrooms got a lot of moisture into them, so you don't need to worry about drying them out. In the meantime, what we can do, we have a couple beets in here. Just cook beets, diced up. So another very important tool is this guy here. So garlic is a lot of different ways you can do garlic. You can smash it down, chop it up, you can slice it, but this will save and bring the most flavor of garlic. And be very careful, uh, be very picky about your garlic. We have great garlic in BC. Try to use BC garlic, the big purple one. Is great. Um, it makes a huge difference on the quality of the garlic. So at this point, I turn off the heat. We have this nice color to them. And what we're gonna do that's important in, in broth is to get that garlicky, um, roasted garlic flavor to it. You see, when I do broth like this, I'm not adding any salt to the pan. Because what's gonna happen is, this has been seasoning for you already. Now you can add salt in the end if you're not satisfied with this, the salt. But in general, I sold it pretty great. Go like this. And again, if I was starting with my garlic in the beginning, it'd be burned by now. And all you want to do is get just garlic ties to roast it up. At this point, you can add oil. So in here, I'm going to use a little truffle oil. Nobody's a fan of truffle. I like truffle oil. If I was putting the oil in the beginning, everything would be burned oil. You put it on your plate. Okay, and it's important to use good oil because you're gonna drink it. So you make sure if you use olive oil or sesame seed oil or any kind of oil you decide to use, make sure it's a good quality oil. We're gonna put a little watercress all around. Like I said previous time, really important, the color and the texture of your dishes is what's gonna make the dish. At this point, we're gonna pull the broth. The broth we serve is more than enough for two serving. Again, texture is very important in food. So, if you have liquid, it's nice to have something crunchy on them, otherwise you're gonna be all tasting the same. So these are like carrots that we just shave. You can use a peeler and just shave them up. And then putting them in ice water, it gives them a little bit of a crunchiness and volume. What I'm showing you is not a recipe, it's just an idea of how to use a product. So again, I'm gonna put a little fresh herbs on it. This is chive, you can change it up if you like. Big fan of radishes, especially at the moment, have a really good bite, so just place some radish in there. Don't put the radish in water like people used to do. It. What you're gonna do is just wash that away. So you can't do this too much ahead of the game. You just do that before with a little mandolin or with your knife. So this is a mushroom plant-based uh, broth uh, dish. You can do it with whatever you like, seasonal ingredient, texture, color, all those things you need to nail, and enjoy it. Good one.